U.S. Space Force General. Stephen Whiting has stepped into his new role as commander of the U.S. Space Command. Rear Admiral Christopher Bartz, Assistant Commandant for Command, Control, Communications, Computers and IT, and Chief Information Officer at the U.S. Coast Guard, has been selected to serve as Deputy CIO at the Department of Homeland Security. The AFRL's Rapid Architecture Prototyping and Integration Development Laboratory is seeking input from industry about technology approaches that can be used to develop a trusted network device that would enable an overlay network providing the U.S. Space Force with cyber-secure internetworking capabilities. Molly Just Bear, a defense and technology executive, has rejoined the Department of Defense as director of the CHIPS Coordination Cell. Reps. Ted Liu, Zach Nunn, Don Bayer and Marcus Molinero have introduced bipartisan legislation to advance federal risk management guidelines for artificial intelligence technologies used by government agencies and vendors. The International Space Station National Laboratory is seeking flight concepts that use the government-funded space facility to develop technology in areas such as translational medicine, chemical and material synthesis, edge computing and in-space servicing, assembly and manufacturing. A ceremony took place at Redstone Arsenal in Alabama on January 9 to mark the change of leadership at U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command and the Joint Functional Component Command for Integrated Missile Defense. The Department of Commerce's National Telecommunications and Information Administration has awarded $80 million in funding under the Public Wireless Supply Chain Innovation Fund to support the development of new wireless technology testing and evaluation facilities. Join Potomac Officers Club's workloads at the Tactical Edge Forum on February 8, 2024. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. FiberTech has provided NASA with a laser technology to support the transmission of high-resolution images and video of the lunar region to the ground station. The Department of Defense has released a memorandum announcing the launch of the first version of the Assistance Data Standard.